Hi, I'm with John Fisher from the men's lacrosse team. What's your favorite thing about them? Um, I think it's growing silly facial hair, probably. Uh, we went with the goatee for tonight. A couple years ago, I went with the mullet. I don't know. It's just a good opportunity to see everybody together and, you know, have some fun outside of the athletic center. I'm here with Steve McGuire from the men's basketball team. What was your inspiration for your outfit tonight? Uh, I was at an 80s Goodwill store, and it was for free. I bought this tie, and they gave me this shirt for free. Awesome. Even better. Hi, I'm here with Bree Souza from the women's volleyball team. So what's your favorite thing about the Ombies? My favorite thing tonight is going to be um, the awards called the Dumbies. Um, it's the kind of senior superlatives for the athletes, so it's a goofy awards that the athletes picked for each other. So I'm excited to see who's going to win those and um, the different commentating that Tim Milch is going to do. Hi, I'm here with senior Dan Cornell of the men's ice hockey team. You're a senior, but this is your first Dumbies. What are you expecting? Uh, I'm just expecting to have fun. Uh, I'm just here to enjoy my last couple weeks as a beacon and uh, just have a little fun with the guys. Yeah, awesome. And so. Coming out of a really great senior year, going right into playing professional hockey, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it was definitely a change. It was, uh, it was a big difference, stepping up a level, but uh, I enjoyed it, and I think uh, UMass Boston prepared me well for it. All right, awesome, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Sam Hemstock, Michelle Zulo, and Lindsey Capra from the women's softball team. So what is your favorite thing about the Umbies? The food. <laughs> um, that everyone gets to come together and dress up. Oh, nice. The food. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Sam Bendick from the women's soccer team, also my roommate. What are you looking forward to for tonight's Zombies? I'm looking forward to the awards and everyone being dressed up tonight. So after being the Little Loose Conference regular season champs and just being named captain, what is this year's goal? This year's goal is to win the LEC champs. So cool, you always make your way into videos, so what's it like to be interviewed for the first time? To be honest, this is probably the greatest experience of my life. I'm so happy to finally be talking on camera. Everybody sees me behind everybody, poking my head up, but this is, this is great being here right now. Awesome. And Zeke, you are probably the fastest non-track guy at UMass Boston. What's that like? You know, speed kills. Um, you know, it's definitely a great, great, uh, how, do you, how do you say this, great advantage to be, to be fast, awesome. especially on the base, yes, especially <laughs> on the baseball team. Um, no, you know, just as long as I can help the baseball team, that's, that's all that matters. Hi, I'm here with Keeks Morrison, who's a member of the volleyball, basketball, and softball teams. What are you looking forward to from tonight's Zombies? Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing a recap of everyone's season. You know, it's really great to see that. And also the Dumbies, those are my favorite. Awesome. And so, being a part of those three teams, what team are you representing tonight? Well, tonight I am table hopping around from volleyball, basketball, and softball. You know, I got to represent all of them because I love them all. Some people might not know, but you suffered a leg injury in the beginning of the year, and you came back five months later to be able to play some of the season. So what's that mean to you? Um, yeah, it was, you know, obviously this year didn't go the way I, I'd expected it to, but, uh, you know, it, it ended up being all right. I got back for most of the games of the year, ended up, you know, getting most of my strength back. It was, it was awesome. And then you know, the best part of it now is that after the season, I was, I was fully ready to go, and I, you know, can, like, go about my life yeah. normally. It didn't hold me back then. So, you know, it was, it was a weird year, but it ended up awesome. Hi, I'm here with Melissa Coble from the women's cross country team. So this is your first on because you're a freshman. What are you looking forward to or expecting? Um, I don't really know what to expect, but I am looking forward to seeing who's going to get the awards, especially from our team. That's going to be something really great to see. Hi, I'm here with Alfonso and Arlindo from the UMass Boston men's soccer team. So what was your inspiration with your outfits for tonight, guys? Well, I didn't want to be too overdressed, but too underdressed. So I just thought the vest and the shirt and tie would be appropriate for tonight's outfit. So what about you? I just wanted to spice it up a little bit, you know, make people laugh, whatever. Awesome. So you guys won the first LEC men's title this year. So what did that mean to you guys? It was just an honor to be the school's first uh, championship soccer team here. And I just think we could uh, do it next year again and hope that uh, everything works out for the best. Awesome. And so what is the goal for next year? Uh, win it again, repeat, make it into the NCAAs, pass the first round, and go from there. Hi, I'm here with Raven Kelsey from the women's basketball team. As a freshman and having this be your first on what are you looking forward to? Um, honestly, anything. Um, I didn't even know how the Battle of the Beacons was going to be, so that shocked me. So I am really have my mind open for anything right now. Awesome. And so what was the inspiration for your outfit choice tonight? Honestly, I got to kill it. I didn't know <laughs> how serious it was until people was like, yeah, I'm wearing a dress, I'm wearing this. So I had to, I had to force it. You look awesome. I love the bow tie. <laughs> Thanks so much. So you um, wrote the program record for wins for the men's tennis team. Tell us a little bit about like what that feels like. Um, you know, it was a long, long journey. Uh, I wasn't really going into this, uh, 
I mean, my first year I wasn't going in looking for the record. I just kind of, kind of build towards that. And coach was like, on my third year, he was like, hey, you're really close. Um, you should come back for another year, and it kind of worked out. Um, but it means it means that I've worked hard, and and the coaches who have been behind it have been helping me a lot to get to this goal and, uh, and to this point. And it. It, honestly, it feels good. It feels good to reach the point, so yeah. Finish the year off right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So, you know, being a freshman on the cross country team, were you expecting what was happening this year to be so successful and have so much fun? I didn't really know what to expect coming into a new collegiate program, but um, the team kind of is what made it the best thing for me, and I had a really great year. I'm looking forward to it next year. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Kelsey from the women's tennis team. What's your favorite part about the Obvious? Um, I think I was just excited to come and like it's a good way to really wrap up the year to see all the teams together and all dressed up. So, awesome. so you guys went to Puerto Rico this year for your spring training trip. Did you guys do anything really fun or memorable while you were down there? Um, we went to the beach a lot. Um, I've never seen water that's a different color than it is here. <laughs> it's like this really pretty turquoise. So yeah, it was just really fun to kind of get away from the snow. Yeah. Spend time the beach. <laughs> get away from all this weather. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Alby Daly from the men's ice hockey team who just won the Strength and Conditioning Award. Tell us a little bit about what that means to you. Uh, just for me, as far as getting this award, especially from Jeff, um, he puts in a ton of work up in the weight room for us and uh, just receiving this from him and him noticing how hard I've been working um, on and off the ice has been a really, really powerful thing for me as a student athlete and uh, goes a long way, I guess, just is in helping me come back for next year and being excited. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, he puts in so much work that a guy like that to notice you for what you do is, is pretty cool. So. Yeah. Hi, I'm here with Elizabeth Claven from the volleyball team. So you just won the female Einstein Award. How do you maintain your academic life in the classroom but also do so well on the court? Um, it's definitely a uh, tough balance. You really have to focus hard on um, time management and working hard in the classroom and using your time really well when you're not on the court um, really effectively, and I think I've found a good balance with that and been able to be successful in the classroom because of that. Hi, I'm here with Douglas and Ed Milson, both on the men's soccer team. So you had the game-winning assist and the game-winning goal. Take us through that day, what happened? Um, I mean, it was the very end of the, the second half, of the overtime, and uh, we got a corner, and, um, and Milson's in the box asking for the ball, and I crossed it, and we were very happy, and he scored the header. So, at Milson, you're going to be on the team next year. Dougie's a senior. What are you really hoping to get out of next year's season? Well, the same thing that we got out of this year, win LECs and definitely make a run in the national championship. All right. Thank you so much.